It came about when we first thought of the Tudor Book of Hours, which was a concept that was really popular in the Tudor and medieval period, when people who could afford it had a lovely illustrated book with information about saints' days, and they kept information about their own families in it as well. And we thought that something similar we could do for a modern audience would be a book of days which had an event all about the Tudor period for each day, where the, user, the reader can um, record their own favourite pieces of information as well for any particular day. You can, uh, a, a, like with a diary, write key, key uh, information uh, in terms of um, passport numbers and phone numbers and addresses and things like that. Um, there's an introduction that just explains a little bit about books of hours and how they work. And there's the year planner so you've got some key events that you can put in each um, each month and then you can look at it in a bit more detail for each individual month because you've got the um, you know the highlights but that's also linked as Deborah said to the actual events that happened on any particular day and then at the back we've had very good feedback too about there's some very small potted biographies for everyone that's featured in uh, the book um, and also a list of events. And um, even though we wrote it, <laughs> I find it's very useful um, to have something at the back where you just can basically check on something that happened or someone whose name isn't so familiar to find out a little more, bit more about them. The benefit of a perpetual diary, of course, you don't have to um, move the information in every year. So you don't have to get all the birthdays at the beginning of the year and write them all in again because they will be with you permanently. And you can look at all the days again and think, oh yes, I remember what happened when I wrote in that, that birthday. It, it gives it a feeling of, um, you know, more, more, it's more personal than a diary that you just throw away every year. It's got some long life to it. One of the things I think that I would say we both like about it so much is the um, cover illustration. And this is from the Victoria and Albert Museum, the V&A Museum. And it's Tudor roses and flowers embroidered on a chasuble. It's mid-16th century English embroidery and the original is in the Victoria and Albert Museum. It's and that, beautiful. Yeah. And a real 16th century feel to it. We're really, really proud of it. We think it's got an awful lot both to learn and to know about the, the sort of Tudor facts and also to learn and to know about your own memories as to what happened on a, on a day.